Ready? Here comes 50. Here comes, here comes. Here it comes to save the day. Yup. Alright, we're not going to do any of that garbage. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to very quickly go over how to uh, quickly and efficiently get your neck to rank 50 and your legendary cloak. This is obviously going to be a guide for brand new players or returning players who have been gone for a while. Uh, so, if you need to get your cloak and your neck up to rank 50, uh, by the way, both of those things will help you far into the Shadowlands leveling process because of the inflated item level and inflated stat value of those things, uh, then keep watching. So, the first thing that we're going to do upon hitting 50 is we're going to automatically get a quest that will pop up for us to go talk to Magni in the... A chamber of Hearts in Silithus. So once you've logged out and logged back in, you'll do the quest of Dying World, like I said, to go talk to Magni in Silithus, and this will just get you your uh, initial neck if you don't already have it. Some of you will already have it if you've been playing from the beginning of the expansion or if you started playing earlier and then took a long break. However, for those of you that are just returning in the last week or so, you probably won't have it yet. And so this is how you just get your neck to start with. You go talk to Magni and Silithus as soon as you hit level 50. So as soon as you've uh, talk, spoken to Magni and completed all of that, we're going to go back to either Borellis or Zuldazar and we're going to pick up the quest Send the Fleet. Uh, this should be given from Nathanos or Gen, and you will speak to the respective person that the quest tells you to talk to, and this will open up the uh, ability for you to unlock uh, Najatar. Now, you'll have to do this for progress on the legendary quest line, um, the legendary cloak. However, I want you guys to know that all you have to do for Najatar is just the few initial quests to get your um, base set up and the portal established. As soon as we finish the quest for the portal and turn that back in, Magni will show up and tell us to head back to the Chamber of Hearts. So we're going to go meet him there, and at this point, we're going to get a quest from Mother and she will send us over to High Mountain. And this is the quest that's going to unlock our neck to automatically take us to rank 50, and it will also give us our first essence. So you'll speak to Mother here, and she will automatically teleport you to High Mountain. You don't have to worry about getting there yourself. And then once you're here, you're just going to uh, complete the quest. And you'll speak to Navarog here, and he will port you inside the cave. So once you get inside the cave, you're just going to complete the quest. Um, you'll have to click your neck over some blue circles and things like that. It's not overly difficult. You'll have to kill this large stone guy who's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but he's not too much trouble. But once you kill him uh, or beat him at any rate, then he'll drop this petrified dragon scale, which you'll pick up, and this will serve as your first essence. So from here, you'll just want to hearth out and then take the portal back over to the Chamber of Hearts. Now back at the Chamber of Hearts, we can talk to Mother, we'll turn in the quest, and she will go ahead and activate the forge so that we can now use it for essences, including the essence that we just picked up. So our neck is now rank 50, and we have our first essence, which you guys should remember to slot in while you're there. At this point, two different quests will pop up, one that will send you to Najatar and one that will send you back to your faction's capital city. You'll want to do the one that sends you back to your faction capital city called an Unwelcome Advisor. Um, this is a very short sequence where you'll just go talk to your um, faction's uh, main leader and uh, it takes like just a couple of minutes. But you'll want to do that and not the quest that sends you back to Najatar. So once you've gone back to either Stormwind or Orgrimmar for the Unwelcome Advisor quest, um, as soon as you're done with that, you're going to head right back to Chamber of Hearts, and now Magni is at this point going to send you to Oldham, and we are now officially on the path for our Legendary Cloak questline. So we're going to do the um, scenario here in Halls of Origination. I'm not going to walk through the entirety of it, just... Follow along with what the objectives are telling you to do. It's fairly straightforward and simple, and you'll just want to breeze through it as quickly as possible. Try not to kill every single mob if you don't have to, because of course you're going to be a little undergeared, and these guys do hurt a bit. 
So, as soon as you have finished the Halls of Origination scenario, you're going to get a quest to go speak to King Feoris uh, over in Silithus. So, it's right outside Halls of Origination. You'll just talk to him, and he's going to give you a quest to complete the assault uh, over there in Oldham. So, you'll just do, like, fill the bar kind of quest. Uh, you're really just going to be killing mobs. Try and kill rares if you see other people killing rares, since they will contribute a larger percentage to your overall bar progress. Um, any kind of treasures uh, that you can pick up, any like sort of clickable objects that you can complete so that you're not having to fight literally all of the things because again you'll still be a little undergeared at this point. Um, so you're just going to go through and fill the bar. So once you've uh, completed filling the bar you'll kill the big bad that's marked on your map and then you'll turn the quest back in over to King Feoris and he will send you back to uh, the Halls of Origination, I'm sorry, he'll send you back to Magni over in Silithus. And so once you've met Magni back in the Chamber of Heart after speaking with King Feoris, you're now going to be sent to Mists of Pandaria. So the fastest way to get here is going to be um, just to go to your main faction capital city, Stormwind or Orgrimmar, and then take the portal uh, to Jade Forest from the main portal room there. And once you're in Jade Forest, you can just fly over to Kunlai, where Magni is waiting for you. So you meet up with Magni here, you speak with the Snogu guy, you uh, kill some mobs, and then once you have uh, finished this sort of uh, scenario, they will send you over to speak with Loremaster Cho in the Seat of Knowledge over at the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. So now talking with Cho, uh, the first quest he's going to give you here is just to click click on a couple of things scattered around the room. This is obviously not very difficult. The next quest he's going to give you is to go kill some mobs in the uh, sort of assault area that's going on there and uh, recover a quest item. So we're just going to kill some mobs that we see. It doesn't really matter uh, what mob. I always go to this golden stair area just because there's a high density of mobs to choose from. But you'll just kill mobs until you get the quest item, which is the scouting report. So as soon as you've gotten that, you'll go fly right back over to the Seat of Knowledge and speak with Loremaster Cho. Uh, once you've turned that in, they're going to send you over to Mistfall Village, uh, which is the main sort of uh, Mogu place. And you'll have to talk to this guy, Storm Speaker Kulon, whatever his name is, right outside. Um, and then after that, you're going to go inside the hall here. You'll speak with Rodin, and Storm Speaker Kion is going to give you the quest to uh, complete an assault here in Vale of Eternal Blossoms. So this is going to be very similar to what we just did in Oldham. Um, we're just going to fill the bar by killing mobs. So as soon as we've filled the bar, we're going to kill the big bad at the end of the assault. This is the big bad for uh, the Mists of Pandaria zone. So we're going to kill him. Feel free to kill the world bosses that are up in either Uldum or uh, here in Vale of Eternal Blossoms while you're here anyways. And then as soon as you are done uh, with the quest for the assault, you can go ahead and turn it in. The main assault turn-in is going to be this lady way outside the building for some reason. So you'll turn the main quest for the Conqueror's Trophy that you got uh, back inside the building here to Raw Den. So once you've turned that quest into Raw Den, he's going to give you the quest, uh, a quest now, to go into Mogoshan Vaults with Magni. This is going to be similar to the Halls of Origination dungeon scenario that we did in Old Doom. Uh, now we're doing it here in Mogushan Vaults. So very similarly, you'll just co complete the scenario, do the things that it tells you to do. And then as soon as you're done with that scenario, you're going to come back to Mistfall and speak to Rod N again, turn in the quest. He will give you your next essence now. And you'll speak with him again to automatically teleport you to the Chamber of Hearts. So don't go hearthing out or anything like that once you turn the quest in. He will uh, teleport you guys back to the Chamber of Hearts. So just wait for that. So now that you have gotten back to the Chamber of Heart with Rodin and Magni, you're going to have a whole load of RP and talking that you're going to have to do. There's not really any way to speed it up. However, once everybody's finally done blabbing, uh, Magni is going to give you a quest to go back to the Halls of Origination again. This is going to be a very short 
um, a scenario kind of sequence here. I will walk you guys through a little bit of it because I've had people tell me before that it can be a little confusing. So when you first walk in, the chamber is falling apart, the building's falling apart. Um, basically, you're just going to walk up to the door here and you're going to get ported. Okay, so Mother will go ahead and port you out of that uh, crumbling, falling apart entranceway, and you're now going to make your way up these stairs and out into this open area. So try not to run into any of these little tornadoes here. They will knock you back, and also you will have wind pushing against you, so if you have any kind of mobility effect to speed you up or launch you towards this uh, center kind of pillar here, I would suggest that just to make it a little clicker, quicker. So you're going to click on that center thing, and then you're going to click on all of these little copies. These are supposed to be copies of yourself here. So you're just going to click on them. You're not going to fight them or anything like that. You're just going to click on them. Your sanity is going to drain. Um, this is your uh, kind of neck interaction here, so and the effects of Nazoth, basically. But uh, anyways, you're just going to wait for this to kind of auto-pop. At some point, you'll have taken enough sanity damage that it will auto-pop, as you see here. And at that point, you will again be automatically teleported out. So now that you've been teleported back to Chamber of Heart, you're going to go turn your quest in. Uh, we're now speaking with the Black Prince. And he is finally going to give us the quest for our Legendary Cloak. So he's going to send us to Blackwing Descent, which is an old raid, and that is at Blackrock Mountain. So if you're Alliance, obviously the fastest way would be to just take the portal over to Stormwind and then fly over to Blackrock Mountain. And if you're Horde, it's going to be a little more complicated, but at any rate, you're just going to want to get yourself over to Blackrock Mountain to the Blackwing Descent uh, portal entrance. So once you've gotten into the Blackwing Descent, this is going to be very similar to Halls of Origination and Mogushan Vaults. You're just going to go through and complete the scenario by following uh, the objective tracker on the right side of your screen. And as soon as you're done, you're going to click on the dragon scales and you're going to take the dragon that flies down. He will automatically fly you back over to the Chamber of Hearts. So again, don't try to hearth out or port out. This dragon will come and automatically take you back over to the Chamber of Hearts, where you will turn in your quest to the Black Prince. And you now have your Legendary Cloak. So if you want to take the time to upgrade it, feel free. I didn't want to bother with that. I went and did some world quests to fill in some of my uh, lower item level gear that I still had. This would also be the time Besides doing world quests, if the warfront is up for your faction, try getting into a heroic warfront, not a normal one. Also, um, doing assaults, uh, as we did earlier, and killing the world bosses if you did not earlier can give you a chance for loot. So you guys can see currently right now my item level is 68, and I'm just going to do some world quests and some regular heroic dungeons to help fill in some of the gaps. So that's going to wrap this video up. I hope that it was helpful to have the full uh, Legendary Cloak and Neck Unlock uh, walkthrough. Let me guys know if you have any other questions for uh, how to gear or if there's something specific that you guys got lost on. I know sometimes it can be a little confusing when you're not used to it. Uh, so anyway, I ended at item level 76, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!